All right, so if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that it's mostly devoted to classic imported odd cars that I restored or have restored or in the process of restoring or possibly even working on somebody else's odd import car that I'm getting ready to restore, like that Mazda AZ-1 out there or any one of those classic cars that are out there or over there or right here or I can go on and on and on and I would not do that. So uh, in the last year or so, I've become a little interested in electric vehicles. Always wanted to have one. Um, so two years ago, somebody gifted me this old scooter and I had it for two years. Uh, it came with these lithium polymer batteries. One of the cells was missing. Um, so it's 48 volt and it was missing one three volt cell. So that puts it down, it wouldn't run, charger was bad. But I thought it's really cool. I'd like to learn, cut my teeth on electric things. I like to monkey with things. And I thought, well, I'll just get some car batteries and just stack them up, stack them up here on the foot, you know, rest under the seat, see what I can do with this thing. Well, that didn't really pan out. By the time you figure lead acid batteries weigh 50 pounds a piece, that's four, you know, that's 200 pounds of batteries. I was like, ah, oh, that's not going to be very fast or very fun. And it won't go very far. So I invested in this little brick here, which takes the place of two of those batteries right there. Hello, Stella, how are you? Um, so it's half the weight and half the size. One battery used to go on the shelf and one battery used to go right right there. Um, you, gotta, you gotta get out of the way. Try and talk to people. She wants attention. So, um, Anyhow, we uh, got the battery, was super excited, took uh, two months for them to make it and ship it and then deliver it. And then it took me two weeks to figure out that one of these little pins in the charging device on the what's called the battery management system wasn't put together right. So all the lights weren't lighting up. Um, and it took, oh, it was so frustrating. So the battery wasn't charging. Um, nothing worked super frustrating it's kind of like learning a, a new language um, so i will i've got it charged finally i figured that out all the lights then light up i modified this i cut open the thing thinking that there's the bike needed more power um, which it really doesn't but what happened is <clears throat> turn it off for a second is i would just turn the bike on and watch this the gauge there it would just simply flash and beep and flash and beep flash and beep flash and beep forever I mean that's all it ever do so I thought it had a bad kill switch I went through the bike head to toe tore it all apart tore the controller apart checked all the wiring checked the fuses there's fuses in there took the whole front panel off trying to figure out why the thing wouldn't fire up and today I am happy to tell you that I have found a breakthrough. So this one blue wire, and this is good for anybody who is swapping batteries on a, a one six, I'm sorry, EVT 168. There's a blue wire that went into the battery pack, the old battery pack. And I always wondered what that, what was the purpose of this wire? And after weeks of frustration and talking to a lot of help for people online, I thought, I'm just gonna go for it. And what I did, is I wired in a, a fuse here, just simply with wire nuts to the, which is now 52 volt, it's just sitting here idle, 52 volts, it's a 48 volt system, but the new battery's got a little more power. And I thought, well, what the heck? I mean, what have I got to lose? I could blow it up, I suppose. So let me show you. If I turn it on and then turn the key off and then turn it on again, it goes through a startup cycle and you notice that there's just one green light. So I've got it on economy and I'm going to give it a little, make sure the dog doesn't get wrapped up in the rear wheel, give it a little throttle here. Yahoo! We've got power, baby. We've got power. Oh, what is that, Stella? Made a little noise. 
So I'm so psyched. I'm so thankful for all the people that helped me. I was really, really frustrated. Big thanks to Mr. Ping, who supplied the battery, and big thanks to uh, Endless Fear, um, the, the website that does all EV things. Without your guys' help, I would have known what to do. So I've got a green light. I got to put the bike back together now, get the battery strapped in, get it wired properly, and take it for a ride. And maybe go for a ride with my wife. I actually gave this to my wife as a birthday present. Her birthday was two weeks ago, so that added a lot of extra pressure. It's just been a little crazy. Stella, what do you think? You want to go for a ride? Maybe Stella would like to go for a ride on there. Anyhow, we're going to put it back together and we're going to re-surprise my wife this time with a running bike. And I'm so excited. So thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. Hope this wasn't too boring. It is my first entree for entrance cutting my teeth onto an electric vehicle and uh, I'm hoping we're going to have a lot of fun with this thing. So I will let you know how it goes. You may see another video of me ripping around with Stella on the, on the footboard. Thanks for watching.